So Laura, oh, let me think. Oh my gosh, this is my 10th Christmas movie. I'm like, wait, what job do I have in this one? Um, she works for an advertising company. I can't remember. I'm Laura, otherwise known as Slay the Competition. So I'm starring in the Christmas contest this year and I play Laura who enters a Christmas contest for charity, but doesn't realize that her ex, as in like long time ex-boyfriend, is also a contestant in this Christmas contest. So it's a very competitive rom-com because there's a lot more at stake for these two competitors than just winning a contest. It's, there's a lot about love. So, <laughs> We're both here. Yeah, both uh, Christmas contest competitors. She is a very, very competitive person. She has this great relationship with her mom and her mom is played by Barbara Niven. And she's a, she's a Hallmark staple as well, but she really gets her drive because of her mom. Her mom has pushed her to be the best, to be competitive, to win at all costs. And so she's a very motivated, driven woman. But in the process, she learns that that's not really what life should be all about. So her mom needs to learn a little lesson too. I can pretty much relate to everything Laura. I too am a very competitive person. I literally was repeating lines to myself at times. I was like, oh, I have to remember that. <laughs> in my competitive nature. And sometimes when we're very driven people, we can be extremely hard on ourselves. And sometimes that's a really good thing, but sometimes we need to give ourselves a break. And at Christmas time, we all need a break. Do you two know each other? My favorite part of the whole movie really is that I got to work with John Brotherton again. He played Matt on Fuller House. So this was, more than just a reunion movie. I think this is the movie for all of the Fuller House fans that were Team Matt and didn't get that at the end of the series. John Brotherton and I are such great friends. We have a chemistry, we have a rhythm when we act. So this was really fun to do together. I helped develop the script, I, I produced the movie, and the whole time as we were developing and writing this script, in my mind, I thought this has to be John Brotherton. It has to be, because we already had so much history from not only working on five seasons with Fuller House, but even within the characters that we played that we were in love, we were engaged, we broke up. There was just a lot there. And I thought, oh, we're gonna get this for free in the movie, like all this underlying content. So I wanted John Brotherton for this and uh, gave, him a, gave him a call and we made it work. Every time we were together, with these two teams competing, it was just so much fun. All, you know, everyone's great, all the actors are fun, but we just got to be silly and goofy. This year's been very interesting, especially with all the commotion that, oh, shipping is down and, and, and um, you know, things can't come in from overseas and there might not be gifts for Christmas. And I think about it and I go, oh, wouldn't that be great? What if we all actually focused on the real meaning of Christmas? Um, obviously, if you share the Christian faith, that is the birth of Jesus Christ. If you celebrate another holiday, how about focusing on that and focusing on the time with your family and friends and having deep, meaningful conversations or sharing a cup of coffee together? I, I think that there are so many good things that can come out of this holiday season. and. Uh, just like last year, sometimes just taking that deep breath and focusing on what's right in front of you. The good that is right in front of you is the best way to spend the holidays. My Christmas decorations are coming in. Like I'm just, I wore a Christmas sweatshirt yesterday. I'm ready for Christmas. And I love Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving and Christmas is kind of one for me. It's just all holidays all the time. But I'm really looking forward to being with my family because I'm an empty nester but of course I'll get all my kids home for the holidays. And I think this year we might do a destination Christmas. We'll see, we're still, we're still working out some details, but I think that might just be a really, a really fun time to spend the, with the five of us together. Hallmark movies have honestly become a part of people's holiday tradition. 
They just can't go the season without watching multiple Hallmark movies. And I love that. And I, I think everyone loves them because they're predictable, because they feel good. It's like putting on a fuzzy blanket over yourself. It's like putting your slippers on. It's just something that feels good. And you just know that it's going to have a happy ending. Everything's going to turn out OK. And you're going to get that smooch at the end. <laughs> That's why we all love Hallmark movies.